Diane from Norfolk Westland. And I am Pastor Peggy from Slave Lake, Alberta. Welcome to, what are we calling this? Oh, Lockdown Lunacy. <laughs> Lockdown <laughs> Lunacy. Our, how many episodes now? This is the fourth week. So we have completed 12 episodes. This is number 13. This is number 13. And is this our four, fourth series? Is there like four episodes in a series? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll just be like British TV. <laughs> there you go. We, we, we've, we've got to, to get... We, we could have a celebration at like episode 20. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be fun. I like that idea. Uh-huh. It'd be like a milestone. <laughs> Today is Trivia Tuesday. Woohoo! I love trivia. <laughs> trivia is good. Trivia is good. I love trivia. Yeah. Me I too. love learning new trivia. Learning new stuff is so much fun. And it I, I feel that it keeps our brain young. So I'm excited for today. We're going to find out all kinds of trivia on... Yeah, on technology. Technology? Yeah, well, computers and stuff like that. Because we get, we get thinking, you know, um, we're so thankful for the, the situation that we're in, that we have technology, that we have computers and internet and programs that we can... We can still keep in contact with people, but we we are not isolated or socially distanced. We are physically distanced, but not socially or or you know those kind of things. So I was just thinking it would be great to, to you know maybe delve into some of the historical stuff about computers. And it's really like fascinating, like. Back in 1918, um, the the telephone became popular in most American homes by 1920. And although the telephone was invented before 1918, but it it came very popular. And and uh, you know here we are, you know, almost well, 100 years later, and you know now it's computers and it's it's. It's really neat to watch the evolution of yeah. technology and how one thing seems to be invented that is built on something else and the principles and, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm fascinated to, to learn some new trivia today. Now, I had, I had asked you, Peggy, um, about your first computer, and I wanted to tell you about mine. Um, it, it was... Uh, let me see. It was a used computer. I couldn't afford new. It was in the 90s. And and this thing, I, I don't know how much it weighed, but, you know, you had, it was a desktop, so you had the, the computer part, and then you had the monitor, and then you had the keyboard, and the, the mouse with the cord on it, <laughs> um, and then a dot matrix printer. Do you remember those? I do remember those with uh, the little little dots the, the, along the side. The, yeah, yeah. The, the sprocket holders. The sprocket <laughs> holders. That's what those are called. That's a bit of trivia for you. There you go. I don't know if that's the proper yeah. proper name, but <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was it was old. Um, it ran Windows. I think it was 3.0. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I could open one program at a time <laughs> because I didn't have very much RAM. But oh my goodness, the the the, the hard drive. Oh, it was huge. It was a hundred megs. Wow. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. So how far back? Does the internet, because I mean, we, we just talked about the 90s, right? And, yeah. and internet. How far back does the internet go? Well, um, the, the, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a complicated question. <laughs> um, 
If you think about computers connecting and and communicating with uh, with each other, that would go back to um, I think it was uh, 1969. Um, it was a Wednesday evening, and a computer that was in uh, the lab at UCLA sent an electronic message to another one at uh, Stanford Research Institute. And it, it was just two words, uh, they were, or two letters, they were gonna type in login, but they only got the L-O and then things crashed. But they got those two letters transferred to the other computer, so it was considered a success and and from there, as as they grew and, and whatnot, um, we eventually got the internet. Tim Berners-Lee and came up with this idea for the World Wide Web. And in 1990, he, he wrote the, uh, the code, which is HTTP. Does that sound familiar? Yes. You, you recall HTTP. I do. Remember when you had to type in every time yeah. you went to a new website, HTTP colon slash slash www dot <sighs> and then whatever the uh, <laughs> the website address Long was. Long <laughs> website. And now it's like you, you start typing and if it's something you've been to before, usually your browser will say, oh, this is what you want. And it's amazing. <laughs> How far we've come. Oh my God. Yeah. Now, do you remember what HTTP stands for? I do not. It's Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Oh, okay. So, so uh, this Sir Tim guy, he was a British uh, programmer, um, computer programmer. Uh, in 89, he came up with the idea. In 1990, he he wrote the code and in 91 he he launched it and i i had asked you earlier um what you thought the first page was and and we had made the same mistake i found this on a quiz somewhere on the internet um what was the first page that was was published on on the world wide web and uh, what was it it was a page about cats, or it was a page about dogs, or it was a page about Star Trek, or it was a page about the web. And what was your answer? My answer, of course, would have to be Star Trek. And I, I completely agree that it should have been Star Trek. Yeah. Like, we're talking futuristic stuff here, so it should, should have been about Star Trek. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was about the web. So just sort of, hey, this is the World Wide Web. This is how we can use it. This is how great it's going to be. And <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, it's interesting. Some of the technology we have now goes back years and decades and decades and decades ago. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the actress Hedy Lamarr. No. Um, the striking movie star maybe most well known for her roles uh, in these two in a couple of uh, films but it her it is her technical mind that it her, that is her greatest legacy according to a new documentary on her life called bombshell the hetty lamar story the film chronicles the patent that lamar filed for frequency hopping technology so the technology is frequency hopping technology uh, and that was patented in 1941. Wow. 1941. And that that technology is the precursor to secure Wi-Fi and GPS and Bluetooth. Amazing. Isn't it though? However, she let the, um, the patent lapse because didn't think there was any use for it. She wasn't, wasn't doing anything with it. And then, then people just said, oh, this is great stuff. We're going to use it. There's no patent on it. Great. Uh, and to this day, neither Lamar nor her estate have seen a cent from the multi-billion dollar industry her idea paved the way for. Even though, even though the U.S. military has publicly acknowledged her heat frequency hopping patent and, 
as a contribute as a contribution <laughs> to technology. So I thought that is fascinating, isn't it? That um, is amazing. That you know, like all. Oh, so there's a bit of trivia for you. If you have a patent, don't let it lapse. Don't just in case. Just in case. <laughs> But one of the really interesting things, if the if the patent hadn't lapsed, it probably wouldn't have been accessible to everyone to be able to, you know, build this. Um, so because that had lapsed, um, people could come in and go, okay, well, th this here's an idea. We can take this and you could be anybody and use it. And yeah. because if it hadn't, we we probably wouldn't be doing this right now possibly yeah yeah so so diane did you find out where or how or when the first computer was ever made well i did um now some people might say the abacus is the first computer but you know it's not the modern computer right um it was 1946 so that's five years after Hedy Lamarr did her frequency hopping uh, technology. And it was, it was such a huge machine that it took up a whole room. Um, I actually am going to put some pictures in, in this video so you can see what it looks like. Um, but it weighed, let me see, oh, 28 tons. 28 tons? Uh -huh. 28 wow. tons. It used 170,000 watts of power. Wow. It had 17,840 vacuum tubes. And it could, uh, yeah, it could output, so it could solve 5,000 addition problems per second. Now, I'm not sure what modern computers have the ability to do. I know it depends on, on what you have, but you know, the average one today, what could it do? I'm sure it would do a lot more than 5,000 edition it, It's <laughs> funny because I uh, play uh, words with friends uh -huh. and one of my friends is a robot. <laughs> oh. So it's yeah. like Scrabble with, um, with people, but one of my friends is like the, a computer, so I play against the computer oh, okay. to see if I could win. And um, like, I I get my letters, and it takes me hours to figure out a word. And I play my word meticulously, and then this thing goes like, <laughs> I'm like, well, show you know. off. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of games, computer mm -hmm. games. Okay. Um, the earliest multiplayer games on the computer um, showed up in the late 70s, probably about, I think it was 79. And uh, they were a little bit different than the games we have today that we play, like Words with Friends or, or World of Warcraft or any of those. You want to tell us? I, I we we were discussing this earlier. What what was the difference with the games that we have today and the early ones? Well, <laughs> the the early games had no pictures. No pictures. pictures. How do you play a game with no pictures? <laughs> How do you play a video game with no pictures? <laughs> my my uncle had a. Um, well, we considered it a video game. It was Pong. Remember? Yes. Yeah, and we I could not wait to go to my cousin's house <laughs> in order to play Pong. She'd sit on one side. But this thing, they used it as their kitchen table because it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> when we stopped using it, we just threw a, a tablecloth <laughs> over it and became the kitchen table. <laughs> no pictures. Well, no, that was a picture. Oh, that was a picture? Yeah. Wow. So the, the early games were just typing in what you were doing. Oh, okay. Like DOS and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Boy, games have evolved, haven't they? Just a, a little tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> Zoos and and um, yeah. and things like that, places like that have set up webcams and are live streaming. So you could you can watch the uh, giraffes be fed at the zoo. And the virtual uh, tours, yeah. yeah. The very first webcam though was not quite as interesting. <laughs> but it was it was trained on a very important substance very important very yes. important yes uh, I don't know how the world would survive without this particular uh, product yes yep. Yep. that was very 1991 1991 yeah and I mean 1991 was the year that the, the World Wide Web started and uh, it was it was some researchers, I believe, from uh, from Cambridge University. They set up the first webcam, and they had it showing the coffee pot, so that they didn't have to make an unnecessary trip to the coffee pot if it happened to be empty. <laughs> How does that go? Um, laziness is the mother of invention. How, how does that yeah, go? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of websites that are used on a daily basis by millions of people. Um, things like Google. Now I know you'd mentioned that you don't use Google a lot, but you probably use our search engine. Yeah. Um, Google and Facebook and YouTube. Instagram. Instagram. No yeah. um, now, do you know when these uh, these companies started. So, do you know when Google was launched? It's not 20 years. Like, well, maybe it is. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I remember hearing it a little while ago in something because they just had an anniversary not too yeah. long ago, but I don't remember. It was 1998. 1998, so tw about 20 years. So, yeah. how many years ago 20th? they would have had 20th anniversary? Right. Facebook, what did we ever do before 2004? Like, that's when it started. And I had a friend that kept sending me invites to this this new Facebook thing, and I kept ignore, ignore, ignore until 2007. And I don't know how I knew what was going on in everybody's life before that. <laughs> so, so today's trivia question. Ooh. What was the very first YouTube video? Hmm. Oh. Answers below. Answers below. Type them in. Or, you know, if you, if you have, uh, uh, voice activated, just talk them in. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All possible today. Because... All possible. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of cat videos and we waste a lot of time with cat videos. Do you know when the first cat video was made? I would say it appeared on Canada's, or not Canada, America's Funniest Home Videos because that, that's been around for a long time and I've seen video. <laughs> it was before that. Really? Yes. Yes, it was um, it was actually in the early, early days of motion picture. Oh. Yes. Uh, Thomas Edison recorded boxing cats. And it was shot in July of 1894. Wow. Yeah. And it is actually on YouTube. So you can YouTube the first you can YouTube video. It. We will put the link fire. down down below. Down below. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's that's all I have to share. Well, I think that's that's great. Maybe yeah. you have something. Maybe you'd like to tell us about your first computer, or when you first learned to use a computer, because those are they those could be funny stories too. Mm hmm. Well, look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Warm Hearted Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be 
going to be fun. Um, till then, thanks for watching. I'm Pastor Diane. And I'm Pastor Peggy. Be safe. Be healthy. And, and be, the, be the church. church. <laughs> Thank you.